Fear Zone Channel, your channel of terror. Hello guys, before starting the story, leave a like on the video and subscribe to our channel because we have horror stories every week. And now, let's go to today's video, which is Mr. Adriano, and it happened to him in the city of Batatais, which is in the state of Sao Paulo, and at that time, which was in the year 2012, Mr. Adriano was 37 years old. And it all started like this, at that time, that this story happened to me, I lived with my wife and two more children in a house on the outskirts of my city, but it so happened that a certain day, was that I came home from work very tired, and I went to watch TV, but I ended up sleeping on the couch in the living room, and when it was around 11 o'clock at night, I woke up, and so, I went to get a beer in the refrigerator to drink, but to my misfortune, had no more cans of beer, because my wife had already drunk all the beers. But as I was very eager to drink, so I decided to get my car, and after I started the car, I ended up taking the streets of my neighborhood and driving around looking for some bar open to buy drinks, but all bars were closed at that time, and seeing that it was difficult to find a place open, so I decided to enter a lane where there was a gas station that the snack bar worked at dawn. With this, I took this route, entered a rural area of my city, and cutting through this path, I managed to get to the gas station on the road, and by my luck, the snack bar was open. There, I managed to buy my beers, and as soon as I did, I took my way back home, but returned through the countryside again, until I reached a dirt road, where there was a creek by the side, and it was then, that my car started to give problems, and ended up stopping on this road. At this point, there was no way I got out of the car in that darkness to see this problem. I looked at the engine of the car, but everything was normal in the car, and with that, I decided to start the car and started to push the vehicle to try to start the car, but while I was trying to do this, I saw through the headlight of my car an animal passing by on the road, which was about 30 meters ahead on the road, and it hid in the bushes near the creek. As soon as I saw this animal, I stopped pushing the car and stood looking at the bush where that animal was hiding. I was scared because that animal that I saw quickly seemed to be a large beast. At that moment, I got inside the car to protect myself and try to see that animal through the bush if it was still around. After a few minutes passed, I didn't find the animal anymore, so I got out of my car because I didn't see any sign of it. So, I took this moment and started to push my car again, and it worked this time, and my car started, so I got into my car, and as soon as I closed the door, however, to my surprise, a furry creature jumped out in front of my car, and this animal looked like I was very afraid, because this creature had a glow in its eyes, like two lights, this creature had an ugly face, and it growled of hatred at me, as it was just an animal that I had never seen before, I didn't want to run it over, and chose to wait for the creature to go away. But to my astonishment, this creature climbed on top of my car, in my fright, I ended up speeding the vehicle too much, and the creature fell off my car, but that beast got up quickly from the ground, and it started to run away down the road after that. I started chasing this creature with my vehicle down the street, but this animal was very fast. However, I managed to catch up to it, and I closed it with the automobile. And to my surprise, the animal got scared and got unbalanced, and it fell into the creek. And as I didn't know exactly what kind of animal it was, I stopped the car and kept looking into the creek to get a better view of that animal, and even though it was dark in that place, I could see that creature getting up and leaving the water of the creek, and the animal walked upright like a man, only on two legs. I couldn't believe what I was seeing, because to me, that creature was a werewolf at that instant. My heart seemed to stop in my throat, just by seeing that. 
creature, and that werewolf kept staring at me, and growling at me, and he was breathing fast and scary. I could see that it was going to attack me again, and as my car was already running, I left that place driving the car, and praying that my car wouldn't give problems, and stop again on the road. Luckily, I didn't have this problem, and managed to get home, but I didn't say anything about it to my wife. I kept thinking about this creature all night, and how lucky I was not to be attacked by this werewolf while I was pushing the car on the road. Anyway, the day dawned, and I went to work at my job, and that werewolf was not out of my thoughts. In the late afternoon, I passed again that place where the werewolf appeared to see if I could find any clue of this creature, but I found nothing. The fact is, I passed by that place on other days too, and after some time, I ended up leaving that story behind and continued my life normally. But one month later, after this event, I heard a news report that they had found a dead man near the road where the werewolf attacked me and that this man had been run over around three o'clock in the morning and that this guy was naked too. Well, I was suspicious of this guy because he died naked and without clothes. Then I thought, because only a man is that turns werewolf and this guy run over on the road could be werewolf for me because this suspect could have turned the creature and was run over as a beast and after he died, he returned in human form. Well, I kept quiet and kept my werewolf story to myself so that no one would know because people might think that it was me who ran over the guy on the road and the police would end up coming after me. After this whole story, I have not heard another report of the apparition of this werewolf in my region. But I give a warning, be careful walking in dark and isolated places at dawn because you run the risk of being attacked by a werewolf. Well guys, thanks for watching the video. And if you like the story, like it and subscribe until the next horror video. Fear Zone Channel And now then, let's go to today's story. Well, my name is Lucas, and this story happened to me when I was 21 years old and was in the city of Santa Luzia, which is in the state of Minas Gerais in Brazil, and this story happened in the year 2001. And today, I will talk about something terrifying, in which I spent the greatest terror with a creature that came to surround me. And to start the story, I lived on the outskirts of town, and one day, my cousin who lived on the other side of town, came to my house to pick me up by car, to go to a birthday party at his house, and that then, I got in the car, and we went together to the party. It was still afternoon, but after about 30 minutes, we arrived at my cousin's residence, I stayed at the party, and met some of my relatives too, and the hours passed, and soon it was almost 2 o'clock in the morning, and with that, many of our relatives began to leave the party, I also warned my cousin that I would also leave at that time, because it was already too late for me. Anyway, my cousin agreed to take me to my house, and soon he started the car, and I said goodbye to some relatives, and then I took my way back to my residence by car along with my cousin. But while we were taking the streets, my cousin decided to cut some paths to get faster to my house. He then began to enter very dark places where there were some dirt roads where you could see many oxen and pastures there because it was a rural area. But everything was quiet on that trip until suddenly the headlight of my cousin's car showed a strange thing about 20 meters ahead on the dirt road and my cousin stopped the car on the spot because there was a very dark and very big animal and it was pulling a calf that seemed to be dead and this beast was trying to cross the road but what happened was that the light from the headlight of the car confused that animal and that creature ended up leaving that calf dead in the middle of the road where we were passing with the car 
But this strange animal that looked like a kind of dog, he ran into the bush that was next to the road and disappeared. We were frightened by this creature because we didn't know what animal it was, and for sure it was a ferocious creature, and also at that time, we didn't know what to do, whether to take the calf off the road or leave that poor animal there. However, my cousin drove a few more meters, and we got close to this calf, and taking a better look, we saw that the calf was still alive, but all hurt, and with this happening, we looked around the bush, and we didn't see any sign of that beast around. With this, my cousin decided to get out of the car, and so did I, because we had to get that calf and drag it to the side of the road, so that we could drive the car along the road, and also, so that that animal wouldn't be run over by another car that passed by. But even so, we took the calf by the legs, and we were dragging this animal to the side of the road, and soon we heard a noise on the road, and we got scared, and decided to get back into the car, because we thought that this big black animal could be surrounding us, and hiding, and when we were about to get back into the car, the creature came out from behind the car and attacked my cousin, on the side of the road, and bit the bar of my cousin's pants, and that creature began to pull him into. The bush, at the time I took a fright, because it was a thing of surprise this attack of this beast, because I never thought that this animal was hiding behind the car. But at this moment of terror, while my cousin was being dragged by that enraged animal, I started to give several kicks and punches in the head of this strange creature, in which, soon, the beast felt the blows, and ended up releasing my cousin, and at that instant, my cousin got up quickly from the ground, and we quickly got into the car, and that black creature that was very large, came running and hit the car door, but to our luck the door was closed, finally, my cousin started to start the car, but the creature to our amazement, stood up, and stood on two legs like a man, and that to my surprise, put his clawed hands on the car handle, and managed to open the car door, but my cousin was quick and managed to close the door, and to me it was clear that this animal was a werewolf. But after this moment of terror, my cousin started the car, and getting out of that place, then I was looking at that werewolf, who was still standing for a little while there on the road, and that scary creature had a very bright glow coming from his eyes, which made it look more macabre. But after all this terror, I was more relieved that we had managed to escape from that werewolf. As soon as we arrived at my house, I asked my cousin to spend that dawn at my residence, because I had a bad feeling that something worse might happen if my cousin returned to his house, and he was afraid and stayed at my house. We spent the early hours of the morning talking about the werewolf event, and how this creature could even exist, that we had only heard of, and only seen in movies, and talked about the intelligence of this beast, that it hid behind the car, and attack us by surprise, and also that the werewolf opened the car door. But after that day, I went back to my normal life, but when I imagined that werewolf, and the scene of terror that I spent that day, already gave me fear, but it was only that too, because fortunately, the neighborhood where I lived, had many houses and lampposts, and the streets were all paved, and I did not worry much with that creature, because hardly a werewolf would prowl around here. But surprisingly, one day, I met a street dweller from my neighborhood at the bar, and he was telling people that he saw, at a certain dawn, a creature that looked like a black dog, going through the garbage at a supermarket in my neighborhood, but he still claimed that this animal was standing, walking like a person, and the street dweller said that when he saw that creature, the beast was on its back, and as the beast couldn't see him, this walker left the place hiding, and for this reason. He only slept near the emergency room, because it was safer, because in my neighborhood, the creature that he saw could meet him at dawn, and that would be the end of him. But I kept thinking, how could I be wrong about this creature, because this werewolf, can appear even in well-populated neighborhoods, 
and by the description that this homeless man spoke of the creature was the same description of the werewolf that attacked my cousin on the road, and also by the fact, if true the beggar, the werewolf stays in the woods at dawn, but also sometimes can get in very populated places, as neighborhood for example. Of course people took in jest what this homeless man said, but the fact is that I saw this creature. After a few days, I looked for this homeless man to hear something new about the creature, but he also did not see anything else at dawn, but what remained for me is that werewolves exist and are able to mount a clever attack, and that was my story. Before we go to the next horror story, if you liked the story, leave your like and subscribe to the channel.